podcast. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to our October 2017 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. So Aquarius, for this reading I'm using the Witches Tarot deck along with the Angel Therapy Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and then I also will be pulling you an additional Whispers of Love Oracle Card as well. Um, but if you are interested in additional guidance over on Vimeo, I will have the October 2017 Love Tarot Forecast posted on Vimeo. I will link that below. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please check out northeasttarot.com. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, I do have Strength. Okay, so Strength is actually the overall energy for you guys for the month of October. So strength is strength. So uh, I see many of you coming through very, very strong. Now strength is all about control. So, you know, sometimes that can be taking back your power, taking control, taking matters into your own hands. So some of you definitely could be doing that here in, in the month of October, but it also can represent, you know, being patient when you need to be patient, um, staying calm. So some of you might be experiencing this energy in that, that way, being very strong, maybe being patient when it comes to something let's see here some of you possibly could be maybe finding your courage here in the month of october we are starting out with the page of pentacles so we do have the page of pentacles crossed by the queen of cups so with the page of pentacles i definitely feel like this is a financial opportunity for many of you now it could be good news it could be news or communication that's coming in right at the start of the month uh, or something in regards to money matters your career there could be some good news on that front um, but i do feel like for many of you this is some sort of financial opportunity so this is wonderful now with the queen of cups crossing the page of pentacles here for some of you, when it comes to this financial opportunity, maybe whether or not you should accept it, act on it, I think you need to listen to your intuition here. I think you really need to follow your heart, listen to your intuition, maybe when it comes to accepting this opportunity that's coming to you. Uh, now, for some other Aquarians, there could be a Scorpio Cancer or a Pisces individual. There could be a water sign person that is communicating with you. Um, and it could be some sort of financial news or it could be job related could also have something to do with schooling for some of you now at your foundation I have the nine of cups so we have the nine of cups which is emotional abundance it can represent wish fulfillment so with this page of Pentacles for some of you this could be hearing back about something um, but I think that you've been maybe experiencing some really amazing energies here with the Nine of Cups. There could have been a wish that came through for some of you. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles in the recent past. So for some of you, started something here, some sort of new beginning. It is a blessing. Could be a new job. Uh, for some of you, you might have like an opportunity to make more money. You could have landed a new job. And then with the Page of Pentacles here, now here right at the start of uh, of october there could be some news there could be an increase um in, in money here right at the start of the month some of you definitely could have landed a new job previously with the nine of cups and the ace of pentacles uh, had some sort of solid new beginning here with the ace of pentacles it also could have been an inheritance a lump sum of money a new home for for some aquarians here um, but this is really positive energy with the Six of Cups crowning you. Sixes are all about balance and harmony. So I think that some of you emotionally here at the start of the month are in a really good place. Emotionally, definitely, for some of you financially as well. The Six of Cups can represent children, and we do have the Page of Pentacles here right at the center. So some of you, maybe your child or your children are very significant. You could be thinking about your children a lot here in the month of October, but also maybe someone or something from the past could be very significant with the Six of Cups. Maybe some of you even receive some sort of closure uh, because the Six of Cups can represent someone or something from the past that's significant. Maybe some of you, that's what you're hearing about, some something from the past um, is maybe resurfacing for some of you. With the Six of Cups, 
for me, it also can be a relationship card. So for some of you, this could be a relationship matter. Uh, the Six of Cups is one of my soulmate cards. So there could be some Aquarians that maybe you just got into a new relationship or maybe you're getting into a new relationship. Now, energy around the second week, we do have the Hanged Man coming up in the near future. So the Hanged Man... It can represent that period of suspense. So some of you could be waiting on something at this time. But it also can represent you going off and just spending some time alone. This can be a voluntary energy here. So, you know, what's really interesting is I'm seeing the, the pentacle here. So for some of you, this could be maybe some news or communication that you're waiting on here at this time you know maybe some of you started this 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 beautiful new beginning here in the past you could be hearing something but maybe you're still waiting on some sort of information waiting on something here in the near future uh, and then for other Aquarians, you know, this could be you going off, spending some time alone, maybe to even taking a step back, looking at the larger picture. The hanged man is someone who's becoming enlightened. So there could be something that some of you are learning here around the second week, because then in the position of your power, I have the knight of wands which represents travel, movement. So some of you could be moving forward, you could be you know, moving forward with your life, but also you could be traveling. Some of you maybe have to travel for work, some of you could be moving house, but I see movement, I see travel, and also with the Knight of Wands in the position of, of your power, I think that some of you are coming through very fiery, very passionate here around the third week, very creative, very passionate, and then Interesting enough, in the position of how those around you are viewing you, I actually have the King of Cups, which can be someone who's listening to his intuition or following his heart. Moving forward passionately, listening to your intuition, moving forward. Um, but also because we have the Queen of Cups here, there could be a water sign person that is very significant. Maybe some of you are getting into a relationship with a water sign person spending more time with a water sign person. You could be traveling to see a water sign person. And we do have a couple here with the King and the Queen of Cups. So for some of you, you could be getting into a relationship here. Maybe you were waiting on this person here around the second week and things are starting to move forward around the third week now. And the hopes and fears position, I do have the world. So some of you are maybe hoping to travel, definitely, um, but then also hoping to maybe start that next chapter of your life. The world represents completion, something coming full circle. So some of you, I think that, you know, you're maybe hoping for something to complete, hoping to be able to move on to that, that next chapter, that next cycle of your life. But also, because we have strength at the bottom of the deck, and then we do have this King of Cups here. For some of you, the sign of Leo or uh, the sign of Scorpio could be very significant here in the month of October. Now, energy that you're actually leaving the month of October with and going into November, we do have the Ten of Wands. So for some of you, because you just landed this new job or you might be moving house, you might have a lot on your plate here. You might feel a little way down here right at the end of the month. The Ten of Wands will come up when you have a lot of different demands, a lot of responsibilities, um, but you're handling them. You're not dropping this load. So some of you might have a lot going on. So just take caution with that, with this Ace of Pentacles, for those of you that just started a new job or have to travel for work, you know, this is you just feeling like you have a lot on your plate at this time. Um, it is a 10, so it is a cycle that is completing. Let me pull you some clarifying cards here. I want to take a look at that Ten of Wands. All right, looking at the Ten of Wands for Aquarius. This is energy that they're leaving the month of October with. Looking at the Ten of Wands for Aquarius. Clarifying the Ten of Wands for Aquarius. We have the Magician, the Lover's card, wow, and the Three of Cups. I now want to take a look at the Hanged Man. Clarifying the Hanged Man for 
clarifying the hanged man for Aquarius energy that they're experiencing around the second week. Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ten of Rods again. So lots of tens here, uh, as you can see, Aquarius. So the more tens I have in a spread, it actually indicates the end of a cycle. Uh, you also do have the world here in the spread. So some of you are absolutely completing a chapter or a cycle of your life. I first want to start with clarifying the hanged man we have the ten of swords i have the ace of cups and i have the ten of rods now twice so something might have been burdening you you were waiting on this waiting for clarity waiting on answers for some of you you are maybe waiting you also could have separated yourself from a situation an environment with the hanged man energy i see some of you ending a difficult time a difficult period yes there could have been betrayal um but you know, with the two tens here, with you completing a cycle, we do have new beginnings coming in. With the Ace of Cups, there is a blessing that's coming in for you. Now, some of you might have just started something new. You might have just had a blessing come into your life with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, but some of you have another blessing that's coming in here. And it's something that's going to be emotionally rewarding for you. So some of you, yes, just went through a difficult time, but you handled it. And that could be why we have strength at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. You had... You know that inner strength to get through whatever this is you are being given a blessing here and then clarifying this ten of wands here at the end of the month we do have the magician we have the lovers card and the three of cups so some of you are in the process of manifesting starting something new here definitely you're going to be successful with whatever this is you know with the ten of wands you know, it's not always, it's not always an intense energy. It's not always a, a terrible energy. You know, it will come up when, you know, someone's working two jobs or they're working every day or maybe they're a single parent. They have a lot on their plate. They have a lot going on. But you know what? You have that strength you need to deal with this. So you're handling it here. I think that some of you... You know, maybe you just started something in the recent past. You're you're in the process of starting something new. You have a lot on your plate. You have a lot going on because with the magician, you're empowered. You're in control. You're starting something new. You have everything you need to be successful. Some of you honestly could have just landed a new job and now you're getting into a new relationship. So you just simply have a lot going on here. Um, you could be making a decision or you could be hearing a decision here with the lover's card. A decision could be significant. And then with the three of cups here, some of you could even be reuniting with someone. This could be an ex, uh, or you could be getting into a new relationship here. Um, and so you just have a lot on your plate. You have a lot on your plate, but with strength as a overall energy, you're dealing with it. So, um, yeah, it's actually going to be a great month for you, Aquarius. Uh, I see many of you starting something new. But for some of you on the relationship front, because we also have the Six of Cups here crowning you, the Three of Cups and the Lover's card, you could be getting into a new relationship or you could be um, getting back together with someone for some of you. Now, this also could take place um this could take place you know within your social circle for some of you, you could be getting back together with like an old friend you could be catching up with a friend it doesn't always have to be uh in the romantic sense this could definitely be you coming back together with like an old friend catching up um, the three of cups is a very social energy if you're single and you want to meet someone definitely get out and about here in the month of october and especially around the end of the month here um, there there will be a lot of halloween parties taking place at that time so definitely get out and about but all right here we go i want to actually pull you a card from, the, from these cards aquarius additional guidance for aquarius for the month of october there we go. And then I'm also pulling you an additional Whispers of Love Oracle card as well, focusing on love and relationship matters for Aquarius. There we go. Wow, very interesting. Okay. So the additional guidance card that I have for you, Aquarius, is Solar Plexus Chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in, po in positive ways. 
Very nice. I think this resonates very much so. You're in the process of manifesting new beginnings. You have the magician. The magician is empowered. He's definitely in control. He has everything he needs to be successful. And I think that this is confirming that definitely. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge in your life in positive ways. Beautiful. And then from the Whispers of Love deck, we have Choose Love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. So some of you need to choose love. And honestly, with this Lover's card, some of you do have a decision that you need to make here. And they're saying, choose love, choose love. Take charge in a positive way. All things with love here in the month of October, Aquarius. Okay, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for additional guidance over on Vimeo, I will have the October 2017 Love Tarot Forecast uh, posted over there. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please check out northeasttower.com. I do wish you all a wonderful month. Take care.